Good Thursday morning to you. Today is Thursday, March 25th, and you are creating with Colleen. And I am going to share with you today some samples that we have from our annual catalog. Yesterday on March 24th, Stampin' Up! came through and gave us the retiring list for the annual catalog. You know, it comes to you, and it was almost 30 pages of an Excel uh, sheet, and you're trying to figure out what in the catalog is going away. So I marked up the catalog, wrote down the, you know, reduced prices, and did a catalog tour. So you can find that on my Creating with Colleen Magnus YouTube page. I think it just makes it so much easier to see it because I am a visual person. So one of the things I had told yesterday, every Wednesday, at noontime Eastern time, I do a Facebook Live on my Creating with Colleen Facebook channel. And basically, I told them I would come that today and do that. Well, I did have an opportunity yesterday, so we walked through the catalog. That is already out there. And what I want to do today, since I promised I would be coming to you, is today we are going to actually see card samples from items that are retiring out of the catalog. Good morning, Lee. I hope you got your coffee and... We normally meet for lunch, but today it's cards and coffee. So what I also do is a lot of times I'll take my Facebook Lives and I will put them into my newsletter. So if you miss it or you forget about it, it comes straight to your inbox. So if you would like to get my newsletter, please sign up at creatingwithcolleen.com and I would be happy to keep you posted on any Stampin' Up! specials and just create with you because that's what I love to do. So what we're going to do... Gwen is here today. Good morning, Gwen. Yes, you are welcome for the information on the retiring products. It just is so much easier to see it in person through the catalog. And today what I've done, if you notice, my catalog's a little fat today. That's because I went and this morning I pulled some samples that we have of the items that are retiring. So now we get to see samples because that's usually what makes me decide, gee, do I want this set? Do I, can I live without this set? And then we go from there. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of walk through again. And one of the things Stampin' Up! has that is retiring is on page 7 of the annual catalog. Go get your catalog if you don't have it yet. Stampin' Up! has some amazing card kits. And they really are great for gifts. For example, the two on page 7, the Looking Up and the Simply Citrus, that is called an all-inclusive kit. And the reason it is, is because everything is in there. From the stamp set to the little ink spot, everything is cut. You have directions. So if you want to follow directions, you can. If you want to, you know, create freely, you can certainly do that too. Both of these are retiring. Um, you have the Simply Citrus, which is $32. And then you have the Looking Up. Now I have the Looking Up kit and that was really a nice kit. So again, it comes to you and you have all your card samples. So this one is the Looking Up. And basically it makes 15 cards, three each of five designs. So here are your designs. And what I loved about this is you could even just send the card plain. It was so pretty. The colors in this were amazing. But then they have pieces to pop up. So you can give your card some dimension. So here is one of them, and again, the stamp set is included. Then here, sweet and simple, feel better soon, but it has this, these beautiful foil accents that you can add to your card. Then you have, I hear congratulations are in order. So this um, airplane is actually printed on the card, but they give you the pieces to pop it up and give it some dimension. They're really beautiful cards. And what's nice about it is they're quick and they're easy. You can have 15 cards in no time just by stamping your sentiments. There's a little bit of that gold foil. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one here. We can always use a thankful uh, thanks card um, because, you know, we have so much to be thankful for. You just have to find your blessings. So that there is the looking up kit on page seven. That is retiring, and please keep in mind, all the products that are retiring are while supplies last only. Now this kit on page eight was clearly one of my favorites. 
and they have actually marked the kit down. So it's called Gorgeous Posies. This is not all inclusive. So the kit itself has everything to make the cards. You're gonna make 16 cards for each of four designs. It has your embellishments, the labels, the envelopes. And then down here, you can uh, coordinate the Gorgeous Posy stamp set. So if you've been a stamper for a while and you already have stamp sets, you can use your own or you can use what they have because the cards themselves are beautiful. So the card kit is marked down from $32 to $25.60 and the stamp set is regularly $19. But what I loved most about this kit was it comes with this awesome box. This box is gorgeous and would make a wonderful gift for someone. Then you have this beautiful little brass opening, a little elastic tab, and all your parts are in there, but you can stamp these cards as a gift for somebody and deliver it in the box. So that's that box and 16 cards with envelopes for a little over $25. Now, if you do the kit as is, uh, this is what it looks like. So again, your labels are in there. They're already uh, pre-cut. You have this beautiful silk with go um, gold trim ribbon. So there is one. Here's another one. We should always celebrate accomplishments. So let me see. Gwen said she just bought the kit. She should have waited until the markdown. That is true, Gwen. But first of all, it's only while supplies last once it's marked down. So you may or may not have gotten it. I'm praying it's still available because I think I'm going to get a second kit. But even at full price, I think this kit was well worth it. And then I love a get well because unfortunately, we also need the get well uh, sentiments too. So that is for that kit. Now one of my favorites and everybody else's was the Boho Indigo. The Boho Indigo was just absolutely gorgeous. And this is what we call a product medley kit. So basically this is more for the Avid Stamper because you have the stamp set, which is right here. You have the dies. You have the 48 sheet pack of six by six designer paper. You have the elements, two spools of ribbon. Uh, it's just a great kit, but you supply your own solid cardstock, your ink, that type of thing. Now the entire kit with the stamp set and the dies is $70. That remained the same, but uh, what I thought was pretty amazing is it had a refill kit. So that would be for all the consumables that would be in here. So you're talking the, um, let me see, the Boho Indigo Medley 48, you know, designer paper sheets, six sheets of very vanilla, six by six embossed paper, the die cuts, and the paper flowers, because this also came with paper flowers. So that's regularly $23, and it is marked down to $13.80. So a pack of the six by six designer paper will cost you $11.50 already, and you get all these other things with it. So I think that's just a great deal, but let me show you some cards with that because that has been uh, very successful and I actually did a class on it. So this was one of the cards that we made. And again, this is all from the kit. This is the designer paper. I stamped the vases and cut them with the dies. There's those cute little silk flowers. There's your ribbon and then it opened like this. So this strip here, that's the six by six vanilla cardstock pieces they're talking about. They are already embossed for you. And you can see I used it sparingly so I can get lots of mileage out of it. But that was one of the cards this kit would make. Here was another. My friend Sandy Alexander inspired me on this one. Again, really, really cute cards. These are the labels. The labels are already in there. I just cut the edge off. Here is one doing one of my favorite designer paper tricks. It's a quilted background. And again, these leaves are in there. You just punch them out, pop them on with a dimensional and your label and your ribbon. And then of course, showcasing the designer paper itself. But again, there's some of the labels, the little flowers, the ribbon. This was a wonderful kit to create with. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm glad I got to play with it while it was here. So again, in the other video I walked you through, this is all about the creativity. This is um, to a wild rose. 
So on this one here, the Wild Rose, this is actually marked down. It's a three-step stamp. Yeah, three-step stamp stamp. Um, and so you can layer these. Like you can actually just stamp the outline flower and color it in. You can stamp this in a lighter color that fills the background and then stamp this one on top and that creates your highlights. So the Wild Rose stamp is 20, has been, was 26. It's marked down to $23.40. But what is so cool is the dies, which everything you see in a gray shade has a die that matches it to cut, uh, cut it out. The dies are marked down to $8.50. So you can get this entire bundle for $31.90 right now um, because it's marked down. I love when things are marked down. So let me show you some cards that were made with that. This here, I love the sayings, true friendship is one of God's greatest gifts, and that is so true. So here's a card done with some of the more of the orange tones. And then here's one done in the yellow. I am a yellow rose kind of gal. Um, they're my favorite flowers of all time. But here's one. Then you have this here. And this is using the 10 tile folder. This is in, uh, retiring also. So you would want to grab that. But these are the labels in the dies that also cut the flowers. It really is a nice, nice bundle. Obviously, I really like the layout of that card because here's one done in the blues. So you can see this is going to work with any of the colors. And then this one here is done with the pinks. Hello, Liz. I'm glad you could join us. Coffee and cards today. Coffee and cards. Like I said, yesterday I showed you what was retiring. Today we're looking at samples of stamp sets that are retiring. So going through my big fat catalog again. The next page I come to that I discussed with you, I actually did this card in my stamp clubs last month, is featuring the beautiful world. And I love this because I thought it was a great masculine set. I think it's great for graduation. You know, manly cards are hard to um, create sometimes, but I think this really made it easy. So this is the entire suite on page 24 and 25. So you have your designer paper with a gold foil that was gorgeous. And a lot of this, um, I believe the dies were marked down on this too. You have to check it out. But this is called Beautiful World. And I have some beautiful cards that are created with this. Now I did not do all these cards. I don't know that I have the names on here, but a lot of times I will do card swaps. And it's just a great way to get ideas from everyone. So like I say, I make 10 cards the same. So does my other friend, somebody else, and then we all switch. But I thought this was gorgeous. It uses um, the old world map folder, the texture. And then I love that it has this little inkwell and folder in here. So here's one of those cards. Here's another one. Adventure awaits. So I really feel like that could be a great graduation card. And then this was totally Pinterest inspired. Um, this was the card that we made in our stamp club. And you could just open it up and I love that. You make the world a better place. Hopefully we all know somebody we can send that card to. So that is retiring. And also, because you know I love my coastal sets. Uh, Liz likes her Hawaiian sets, but anything on the water, we both have to agree. If there's sand and water involved, it's a great set and it's a great place to be. But we have the High Tide. This stamp is retiring. And this was a card either Tanya or Michelle made. Um, but I just loved it. It's just a real basic lighthouse. And there's nothing little about the lights you shine. Very, very cute. So let's see what else we have. Oh, this was the one I was talking about. The Geared Up Garage. And it coordinates with the, um, the Geared Up dies. The stamp set is $21 and it's marked down to $18.90. I'd have to research the dies to see if they're marked down. But this one is great because as I was saying yesterday, I, I have all mechanics. I have mechanics and body men in my house. So when I can make a card using anything with the cars, I know they appreciate it. But even in the dies, you get these cool little gears. Again, another great masculine set when it's hard to create cards for those guys. Whew. 
getting ahead of myself. Okay, this one here, this is called Rooted in Nature on page 30. And of course, we all love stamp sets with the nature because that could go for anything from sympathy to masculine to birthday, thinking of you, good, good sets. So I have two examples for that stamp set. This is one here where we sponged with the rich razzleberry, the pumpkin pie, and the daffodil delight and stamped our tree on there. And we actually splattered a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can see the glitter on there. Um, splattered that with a brush and put our dazzling diamonds we had at the time on there. But also even with just a little bit of water. And that's what gives this sky look in the back because this is a water-based ink. So it's gonna bleach it out a little bit when you put it on there, even just with water. Here's another one. And, um, and again, you will see things on these cards, like these trinkets. We don't sell these trinkets right now. These cards, a lot of these stamp sets were in a previous catalog when like the designer papers were available. But this is just great because it gives you the layout and you know you can create it with anything you have. And it also gives you the vision of how to use the stamp sets. But another great card for the Rooted in Nature stamp set. Now I'm so thankful Sailing Home did not retire because I love, love, love that set. That's why I say it's always bittersweet, you know, when the retired catalog comes out. Some of our favorites must go, but that's just, you know, the way they make room for more favorites to come in. So the Good Morning Magnolia was a very popular bundle, stamp set, and that actually is retiring. So here are a few cards using that. Just a good hello. thinking of you and I like how the person who created this one we have the card off to the side so that it um, it just isn't flat and you only use a small piece of designer paper here and then this was a very fun technique to do so with this one um, I embossed with the gold leaf on here and then you take your whisper white ink and a sponge dauber and you sponge inside the flower, and then you come back with your uh, color. This was petal pink, and you just bring a little of the color in there, and it makes it gorgeous. So this would work with any flower. Very, very cool technique. Now let's see what else we have. Oh, this was fun. Now I never owned this set, but thankfully I stamp with people who do, and it's another uh, C set. So here's Seaside Notions. And here is one of the cards that was created. So you have your vellum, um, you know, that we had a folder at the time with that vellum and just cut it out, stamped your seahorses. But that was a really cute card. And then this was one also done. This one here was done with vellum. And then this one here was just done with cardstock and had the vellum accents. So again, I wish I knew who created every single card so I could give credit, but I'm not taking credit. Some of these I created, but definitely not all of them. Now here's one I created. Um, this was called Toil Christmas. And this I think is one of the prettiest cardinals that Stampin' Up! came out with. And Again, I just love it. I love the sayings. Made a lot of beautiful Christmas cards with this. And in doing so, do you think I could find any? They're here. My goal after we uh, talk today is to really start purging my craft room of the things retiring and getting my samples together. But at the time when this came out, I did a technique, and this was a lot of fun. Believe it or not, this cardstock right here that the bird is on is Cherry Cobbler. So what I did, we had a pigment gold ink pad. You can buy them because we don't sell them anymore. And what I did is I embossed the cardinal with clear embossing powder. And then I took that pigment pad and I rubbed it across the cherry cobbler and wiped it off because the ink will, if you let it dry, it'll, it will dry on the embossed image, but it won't right away. So I just wiped it off. And that kind of gave my cardinal a reverse image there. So um, we had ribbon that said Merry Christmas, but this was really cool. But even just to stamp this bird was absolutely gorgeous. Now this winter woods, this one broke my heart that it was going away. 
as I told you, sometimes there's a stamp set that you're just like, no, please don't go. Uh, so it's not going out of my stamp room. This one, I believe, is a keeper. But it's called Winter Woods, and it has coordinating dies. And I just love, oh my goodness, I love the detail and these trees here. And this tree was gorgeous, but it also had a die that was like a textured die. So you have one die that would cut out this actual stamped image. Let me show you. It's a Christmas card I did. So this back piece here, I think this was shaded spruce. Um, this was just cut with the image, but then I actually stamped the tree and the die that cuts that tree out is like 3D as far as I'm concerned. You can see all the detail, how these little pieces here pull up and then just took our little red gems and put it on there. And this was a really fun Christmas card to make. So as I said, I'm not getting rid of my in the woods, but I do hate to see it go because as a, as a business, then I can't really demonstrate it. Here was another one. I think this, this might've been Jackie. Uh, Bullheis, I'm not sure, but this was very simple. Just stamped the uh, the trees on the back, stamped them in gray and put them across the front. You know, simple is good. Sometimes when you've been stamping for many years, simple is hard, but simple is good. Here is one that they used the silver foil and uh, some shimmer paper and they had a white tree. I feel like maybe we should have had a blue tree because if you go way back, remember they used to have the rotating blue artificial trees back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys own one? <laughs> so there's that one. And then again, just very simple. But you can see the dies cut out some really nice, um, I would call them naked trees because there's no leaves on them. But I like the silhouette. And then again, that's if it was just stamped and punched. So another, another great bundle that's leaving us, but still the same. Still the same, you got to let them go. Now, on page 73, Dandelion Wishes. This here, Dandelion Wishes, was really um, great. And it was I loved it because you can wish a lifetime of happiness, sending well wishes. Again, unfortunately, something we need. And you made my wish come too. But these were so fun to play with. So on the Dandelion Wishes, here's one of the cards. And that's when we had those... Um, this is done on watercolor paper. I forget what they called it. It was like a powder of colors. If you guys know it out there in Facebook land, let me know. But you wet your paper, sprinkle it on there, and then they just stamped on top. So that, to me, is a beautiful card. This is simple. This is just um, reverse masking. Just cut a hole, sponged on the inside, stamped your little card. Very simple. Now this one, we just sponged the background, and I love how black makes your colors pop. And uh, yes, Gwen says Dandelion Wishes was one of her favorite stamp sets. Mine too, Gwen, mine too. But these soft pastels are really nice with it. And now here, here I took a sponge dauber, just, you know, tapped it in the ink and just did circles to make my fun background. And here I did the same thing but I incorporated the oval. So here you have the oval and just did the sponge daubers in the middle and stamped my images on, on here. So Gwen, you're getting lots of good ideas to use for the dandelion wishes. Again, very simple. Just put some designer paper in the back and stamped on the front. I love how uh, the dandelion is blowing in the wind because we all blew them when we were kids. And then this here is just using um, the, the gray. Very simple. Smoky Slate, I believe that was. Now this set I did not own, but I was blessed enough to have a uh, sample of it. This is called A Little Lace on page 77. And it's really nice because I just think the uh, flowers have so much detail to them. Just very fine line art. But then when you color it in, it makes a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, this was a card we stamped with Sandy and Sandy Alexander. And I did like this card. I never had this set. But again, if you network with your stampin' friends, your stamp stash will grow because you get to use what they have too. 
But I really like the sayings in here. I'm sorry. This is the See Good on page 79. And it has some of that distinctive stamping that I'm a fan of. But I love the sayings. It says, when I see the good in the world, I see you. What a great card to receive from somebody. And then um, I can't thank you enough because we always need uh, thank you cards. So moving on, I have uh, grandsons now. I have um, uh, Lucas, who was five. When Daniel got married, I gained two grandbabies, which were awesome. And then uh, Tyler, Tyler, my other son, has Everett, who was just a couple months old. So the dino days, I keep getting ahead of myself. The Dino Days on page 98 is a really fun set that I'm going to hold on to because I think they would have fun stamping. Trust me, kids love stamping. I don't care if it's boys or girls. And I can also make some really cute cards for them for their birthdays. So here is one that says, You're awesome. Awesome. Very cute card. So moving on. This on page 115 is Beautiful Friendship. And again, just a really nice uh, floral set. That's birthday cards, friendship, congratulations. And this was one using the samples. And again, I think I created this with Sandy. So I get to stamp with her at least once a month and I love it. Group of us all get together. But this polka dot ribbon I know is retiring. That always was a nice, I like having a white ribbon because you can dye it and color it and use it for everything. But this one here was very easy to use. And that just says birthdays are the best. And they are. You want to gain everyone you can. Now here, this here on page 118, the floral essence. Uh, this here has been marked down from $17 to $10.20. And it has a coordinating punch. I would have to check. That might be marked down too. But with that, let me put my marker here. Um, here's some cards creating with that. So this was simple. Just a crumb cake card base. Cut the designer paper and um, stamp on there. And this is a flower. So basically you could stamp it, punch it, and layer two of them together. Here is another one. All days are beautiful that begin with you. Love that. And here's another one where the flowers were actually stamped on vellum. We had a colored vellum. And, and again, some of these products have retired in the past because some of these items have carried over um, for two years. But just keep in mind, you have the design, the layout, and you are seeing the possibilities of the stamp set so that you can just use these layouts and create with other designer paper. But this was a real pretty card, too. Now, below that, I did not have this one, but um, I love it. Inspiring Iris. So, Inspiring Iris is on page 118. Very nice sayings in here. Wishing you the best. Sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. You are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. How awesome. And thanks. Got to have your thanks. But this is also a two-step stamping. So you could stamp stamp your line art and then stamp the green inside. This would go on your flower. You can see how these coordinate together. So you could actually stamp it as a line art and color it with any medium you want. You can use blends, watercolor pencils, a blender pen and your ink pads, or you can just stamp the images for the two-step stamping. So here was a card that was done before, before, and here, again, this is the two-step stamping. So they stamp the flower, then stamp the green, and that on the inside. And it really makes a beautiful iris card. Now, this was my other one. I can honestly say there were two in the catalog that I was extremely sad to go, but I know nothing lasts forever. This on page 127 is called a ranger wreath. So I loved the arranger wreath because the dies were so great. You know, you have two dies that actually cut the wreath or you can stamp a wreath. A die does not cut that out, but you can still stamp it. I'll show you all that. But this was a huge set that was so versatile because 
you have give thanks, Merry Christmas, Happy Easter, best wishes, Happy Heart Day. You know, it covered a multitude of seasons. So here's one using the buffalo check. That's a large background stamp that is retiring. But you can see here the two dies of the wreaths. So the one cuts out the leaves and the other one, this white behind it, cuts out, well, the other wreath, but it's more of a vine. It's really, really pretty. You have the little butterflies, you have the flowers. Um, so this is one of the arranger wreath cards. Here is one that I did for Christmas because you have your partridge. He's not in a pear tree, he's sitting on a wreath, but he is beautiful. And I always loved cutting the top one out with a foil paper and that on the background. And then here was one uh, that Melissa Ellis did my upline. And again, I loved this because it just shows the actual stamp of the wreath with the flowers and the butterfly. So you can see how versatile that bundle is. But again, just a reminder, everything is only while supplies last. And that I think will be hot. Again, another one, sorry, I'm not getting rid of. <laughs> I better find something I can part with. I have to make room for the new. This here on page 128 is called Friend Like You. And this was really, really cute. And I, I didn't get this one, but it was a sample because, you know, even as a demonstrator, I can't get it all. I do have to pace myself. But I do get quite a bit. And I get it all at a discount. So that is the beauty of it. But this is called Friend Like You on page 128. And this was a card someone had made. I don't think the name's on the back. I don't have it. But here's to celebrating you. It is stamped on the inside. Very cute. But it has dies with all of these really cute cattails and these little dragonflies you can stamp in the background. So very nice card. Now this stamp set here, Waterfront, we had three sets that were like scenic sets. And um, I don't know that I can find the other ones real quickly. I did in the other video, you would see them. But they were easy to use and created wonderful sceneries. So this one is called Waterfront on page 129. And this actually Connie Heisey designed. When you reach a million dollars in sales with Stampin' Up, you get to design your own stamp set. So Connie designed this and I thought she did a great job. That was the first one that came out. So I did a class with that stamp set. And this is how simple it is to use. This is a monochromatic stamp set. This is all stamped with shaded spruce. Some of it is stamped, you know, full strength. Some of it, like I stamped on my paper and came off. But this was a fun card to make. Let's see if I put any, no, nothing on the inside. Um, but again, just one color ink and look at the scenery I created. Then from there, in that stamp set, you also have like a little beach hut and some palm trees. This is for you, Liz. This was quick and easy. So just your background. You could use any embossing folder and stamp your little squares. Here is the card like I showed you in the beginning, only with this one, I think this was Midnight Muse was the blue, but you could use any blue. So really, whether you stamp it in blue or stamp it in green, they're both, it just makes a beautiful, easy card. And then this was one of the uh, cards we did in the class. We just stamped very simple there, and then it opens like that. So it's a top Z fold. Friends make good times better. Love that. So that is the waterfront stamp set on page 129. Goodness, I think we're coming to an end. Let me see, as long as there's no more lumps in the back of my catalog, I know I'm finished. I always love silhouette stamps, and this is on page 136. It's called Silhouette Scenes, and this was a card someone had created, which I thought was beautiful, and it pulls down like this, but again, I just love the silhouettes for the stamp set itself, and this, again, this set really had some nice sayings. Life was meant for good friends and great adventurers. You inspire me 
Together is a perfect place to be. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I love that. And keep dreaming. Good cards of inspiration. So I think, I don't feel any more cards in my book. I could turn around and shake it. Oh, I have another card. Okay. So just a reminder, the in colors are retiring. Uh, some of the blends are retiring also. Some have been marked down. Like the Pretty Peacock and the Seaside Spray are marked down to $7.20. Purple Posy is $5.40. I've gone through all this already, but I did want you to know, as I pointed out, it looks like all of the embossing powders are retiring. They are actually going to be bundled together in the new catalog. So we will still sell embossing powder, but you cannot purchase them singly right now. So if you want the white, clear, gold, or silver individually at $6 each, you would want to purchase those now. But we will have embossing powder in the new catalog. And that's something I really haven't had a chance to do is go through the new catalog. I like it. I have peeked at it. But to actually get back there and look at the ribbons and everything they have, um, maybe I can do that this afternoon. And of course, I cannot show you that. Uh, not until... Uh, we will do a pre-order of our catalogs on April 1st. I cannot expedite the shipping, so they should be there the middle of April. And uh, again, if you're local and you've ordered with me before, you've placed a $50 order in the last year, please let me know. You can come by the house and pick yours up, free catalogs. And if you're long distance and you have ordered with me the minimum in the past, I will mail that to you. But I did have a card I had to show you. One last card. Um, again, and look, a lot of the dies have been marked down. Some have. On page 176, this was called Many Medallions. And this is what it looks like when it's cut. So it had a couple more borders, but I thought this card was absolutely stunning. I mean, I just love, of course, who doesn't love Knight of Navy? But the Knight of Navy um, with the background here, which really would go on any color. Um, there you go. I think that's my last card. So as I have said, the only while supplies last. That's why you really, if you see something, you want to move quickly. If you are placing your order in March and your order is under $150, please use this host code right here. And you can order on my blog, creatingwithcolleen.com, or you can go straight to my website, which is creatingwithcolleen.com. Dot stampin up dot net. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I think I've done so much um, talking. My coffee is cold, so I'm going to heat my coffee up again. And I think, you know, today, again, I think today is going to be a fun day because I'm going to start purging the stamp room. And of course, you know, it's going to look worse before it gets better. But then I like to have the organization of what stamp sets I'll be selling and getting rid of that have retired and also what stamp sets are saying and what I can create with next month. So thank you all for joining me today. I always appreciate your support and being here with me. Good morning, Edith. You're going to have to go back and watch the replay from the beginning, but I promise, promise you, Edith, it's worth it. Shared a lot of great cards today that have been made by some wonderful stampers. So let me know if I can help you gals. And, um, you know, always do something creative every day. I really don't even mind if it's in the kitchen. Do something creative in the kitchen, in the stamp room, in your house. Just God made us to create as he did. He created the best, of course. But do something creative every day. Thanks for joining me again. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.